Hi, my name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today I'm going to do a reading, end of the year reading, end of 2023 Conscious Tarot reading. So I will do a reading on the energies, I will do current situations, whatever situation that you're going through, so it's a general reading. And also we'll look at two energies within the situation, a divine masculine and a divine feminine energy. It doesn't matter which one you represent, no gender specific, just energies. We'll look at the sovereign energy, which is a combination of both. And then I'll look at the vibration that is behind it. And also we'll ask for advice and then we'll close up. Okay, so let's begin. So I have shuffled the cards and I'm just going to take the first card which is the opening energy of um, this reading is the death card. Now the death card brings rebirth, transformation. What a beautiful card to end the year because that means you can leave everything that no longer serves you, every shadow, every negativity that you have in your life, you can leave it behind. It is your choice. So I would like to remind you that the cards don't tell you what to do. They just read energies and they read the energies that present to you right now. It is your choice and your empowered choice to use the energies if it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, all good in the hood. So this is the first energy. The death card is here. And the second energy that I have is the lover's card. And that is the situation that is happening right now in your life so if we resonate this could be uh, this could have different meanings but the lovers cards normally brings a situation of love it could be a situation of divine love divine partnership or just love in general so watch out for those beautiful loving moments because this season these holiday seasons bring families together people together so hopefully you are living and experiencing a beautiful connection or beautiful connections in your life so the energy is present here so take it or leave it divine masculine energy interestingly enough it's the king of wands king of wands is actually a very good divine masculine energy because it brings confidence it brings courage it brings uh, passion, it brings uh, someone who has on a mission, it brings purpose. So the Divine Masculine Energy presenting today in the energies is about you taking up your Divine Masculinity in action and also have the courage to follow your purpose. Okay, so our Divine Masculine Energy for today. Our Divine Feminine Energy for today actually is an inverted King of Cups. So that means that some of you in the collective might be experiencing in your Divine Feminine, uh, if especially you are in a Divine Feminine body, you might be experiencing your Divine Masculine energy a little bit wounded. So you might be that you're wounded with the Divine Masculines in your life. So if you have any resentment or any unfinished business or any situations that hasn't been resolved with anyone uh, carrying a very strong divine masculine energy, I would say um, try to resolve it, connect. This is the perfect season to end those quarrels and those negativities uh, that happens between you two to bring this to balance because your divine masculine is very good at the moment. So use that power, that passion, that compassion because the king of wands is a compassionate king to actually sort out your divine feminine energies uh, with anyone who has who's bringing in strong divine masculines in the wounded way okay so anyone who's very hurt or wounded with you just make sure that you connect with them and you sort it out let's see what is the sovereign uh, energy has uh, when you combine your divine masculine and your divine feminine energy within your body Let's see what is showing us. So, let's see if any, any cards pop up. If they don't, I'll choose for me. So, let's see. There we go. So, this is the Five of Wands, which is um, a very good opportunity to let everything go. 
So in order to balance your divine feminine, your divine masculine, you might have to let things collapse. I know sometimes it's very scary and daunting, but sometimes this is the best thing at the end of the year. So you can rebirth because here we go. We've got the death card here. So with the death card, you've got rebirth and then by letting everything collapse. So you will transform what no longer serves you and you will be able to rebuild again. So that is the card that is sovereign. So let's see what vibration do we have behind all this. What is determining all the results um, in, in your life? So let's see if any of the cards want to talk to you. Oops, they do. And I normally only take three. There's three. Otherwise, there's way too much. So let's see the first card that we have. Oh my God, we've got the Empress. Time to create. Time to nurture, not time to balance your divine feminine because the Empress is such a good card. It's nourishing, it's, it's loving, it's caring. So bring out your most um, loving and caring side of you into the world when you do this rebirth. So this is a vibration, a very divine feminine vibration because you have been quite wounded and quite um, hurt uh, in the past. But this is the time to heal. You can heal your heart because your heart is not broken. Your heart is just wounded. So if you apply a lot of nurturing and care of the self and you accept also that from others, you should be able to heal your broken heart. And this is a beautiful card that comes to complement it is the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands brings you happiness, brings you a whole cycle. It brings you the house, the career, the family, the loving relationships. It's a beautiful card. So basically, use your divine feminine, your caring side, your loving ways, or other people's loving ways, accept it, accept it from others too, to heal your, your heart and then move on to a state of pure happiness because the energies are here and they're vibrating for you. Okay, so now I'm going to ask if there's any advice for any situation that you go in, because remember, this is a general reading. So what's the advice of the I don't feel they're gonna let me know, so let's see what comes up. Ah, the advice is to surrender to the unknown. Surrender to the unknown because sometimes we run around like headless chickens and we don't trust. So trust the universe. Because even if things seem that you know they're going in a negative form, it's your trust in the spirit and in source that everything will be okay in the end. That's what you need to do. Maybe that's the transformation moving from negative to positive, okay? So this is the card that of advice, and this is the card that is closing the reading for this end of the year, 2023. Basically, there is a little bit of lack of love for your, because this is the page of wands. There's a bit of a lack of love for your purpose. What I would say here is look for courses, Look for ways to upgrade your skills. Look for new things in your life because right now you're feeling a little bit, if you're feeling a little bit lack of purpose and uh, interestingly enough, in the beginning, we had, oops, it's gone. We had the divine masculine, <laughs> the king of wands, which brings courage and passion and, and also confidence into the divine masculine, which is all about action. So this is what you need to combine. You need to bring your divine masculine into this card because right now the closure of the reading is that you're feeling a little bit disempowered on, on that note, on your purpose. So use the masculine courage to move forward and to start a, a brand new to a brand new year in a, in a very different place, which the death card is actually opening the gates for you. So. Thank you very much for this and I hope that helped uh, so you can make empowered decisions at the end of this year and we will be I will be here um, doing another reading for 2024 and then we'll see how we move into the brand new year. So for now, uh, see you in the vortex. Goodbye.